Guys, I got some bad news. Something came into the yard last night and was messing around. I think I know what the culprit is, but stay tuned. Let's check it out. So around two o'clock last night in the morning, Cash, he started, he's look at him, he's just, he's exhausted, he's tired. He was up all last night defending my homestead. Against what? Well, I'm gonna tell you about that right now. There was a big bear that had come into my yard and it had got into my bees. Unfortunately, as you can tell, we're walking up there right now and I'm gonna show you some of the damage that this bear had done. <sighs> Please, don't mind the mess, I'm just trying to get through this, but take a look at this, guys. This nuke box, screwed. Honey box, messed up. Look at this. Look at the, like just shredded it, guys. Claws, look at this. Rip this right off. Tore it all apart, broke these frames. I don't know what I should do about this. I mean, I've hunted bears before, and this is the third year now that I've had probably the same bear coming into the yard, and I think it's time that maybe I take some action on the situation. I don't eat bear meat, but I certainly wouldn't mind skinning one out and having a new bear rug on my bed. Look at this, drug this honey frame all the way over here. Looks like he didn't, it's so strange. Mm. He missed a bat, which is so weird. Like you can see he's been, hey Cash, you come to your daddy, come protect us. You can see the actual teeth marks here guys, isn't that wild? The honey is still, this is from last year. Cash one little honey? Mm. Yes. Oh look at you, you got your little bit of honey on your nose. <laughs> mm. But yeah, isn't that wild? Teeth marks. He pour this, took this all apart. Go. Looks like he was busy licking in here or something. More teeth marks. Oh man. So I'm not really sure what to do about this. This is the third year. Look, lucky you didn't bother these hives too much, but still, Not cool. Let's go check the honey boxes out over here. I have some 
honey boxes that I'm not using. I haven't really went over here to check out if there's any damage over on this side. If it is the same bear, he usually, or she, I'm not sure if it's a, a boar or a sow that's been coming into the yard. But it seems every year around this time, they come in for a snack apparently. Um, I, I get it, like everything has to eat. These honey boxes are actually okay over here. He didn't get into them, but, or she, I'm not sure. The bear didn't get into them, I should say, but I'm not really sure what to do about this. I could go put a, could go put a bait out, a bear bait. I use my bow, harvest a bear. But this kind of late in the spring, sometimes the bears, they get full of ticks and <clears throat> they usually rub on the trees and they rub off all their old fur from winter. They kind of shed it out and also they get pretty itchy from all the ticks that are here in Saskatchewan. So I'm not sure yet if I want to put out a bear bait. I don't really want to bring them back here, but on the contrary, I got to protect my, my livelihood, my bees, my dog. Like that's a 150 pound dog. And he was just going, oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see over there on the new fence post that I'd put in. It's a bluebird. Oh, that's so, oh, and his mate is over there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I put this bluebird house up here for that specific reason, but the house swallows have decided to take it over. You see, they're kind of making a nest in here. I'm not sure if uh, the bluebirds just don't find that house acceptable or maybe they had found something better to live in but anyways I just wanted to do this quick little video I want to hear back from you guys what you guys would do if you have encountered bears coming into your property destroying it I mean I did put up a page wire fence that's not fully done so I'm mean, that's not really going to do much right now but just a little at loss for words third summer now where the bears have gotten into my place and it you know you put so much work into trying to survive out here off grid and the bears just seem to come in and have their way with it but please guys I need some help let me know what you guys would do if you had bear issues, I'm not gonna call a pest person or, you know, a professional or a bear trap. Those are just, those are out the window. I don't need anybody else's help in terms of the removal. Do you think I should put up a bear bait, put up a camera, get him coming in, catch him with some honey on his lips? I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I just can't have bears keep coming into the yard and destroying my stuff. I usually have an electrical fence put up around the bees, but the honey box is on, stacked over there under the solar system. They seem to get destroyed every year, so it's kind of a repeating cycle. Uh, year after year. Let me know what you guys would do. Just a quick video. I'll give you a little tour of the homestead. I'll show you what kind of what's going on, what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be doing here. So, on a side note, this weeping tile over here, we are gonna be putting that. 8 feet 
into the earth over here. We're gonna dig down beside the sunken greenhouse, eight feet down, and we're gonna run that weeping tile over here on the other side of the driveway. And what that's gonna do is there's, I have about 800 feet of this stuff and I'm gonna see if I can cool the greenhouse geothermally with, <laughs> what is he doing? With the, cool, the cold and condensed air over this 150 foot run. Kind of a big project, but it's what I need to be able to not only cool the greenhouse, the sunken greenhouse in the summer, but I might be able to also heat it because the ground temperature will be above freezing, right? You picking up what I'm laying down or what? Just my thoughts. I haven't started the project yet, but I think in a few weeks, we're gonna be tackling this one. The geothermal earth battery still has to be put in underneath the greenhouse. It's, I just, <laughs> just can't seem to get all the work done. These fence posts over here, we're gonna be putting the page wire up, okay? As you can see, on this side, we have some page wire up. It's kind of cool. It's a fence. <laughs> How cool is a fence? Uh, not very cool, I know. I'm not a very cool guy. <laughs> but we gotta put up the rest of the page wire let me know what you think about the bear situation. Yes, we could put up some electrical fence. Wow, the Orioles are just, they just sound so beautiful. Can't see them up in the tree right now. But let me hear your two cents on the bear situation. I have to deal with the, with the problem or do we just let this one slide kind of like a free pass? Or do you guys want to see some blood? So just one quick little thing before we wrap this video up and it's to you, whoever's watching this. I just wanna say thank you. Whether it's your first time here on the channel, I'll tell you how much I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out. Whether you're gonna leave a comment on what I should do about the bear situation or if you made it that far or this far or whoever, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for your support. I'm gonna keep showing up week after week for you guys who enjoy my channel or my content. It really does mean a lot to me here living alone, running this channel, that there's some people out there that genuinely care about me and my homestead. And I just wanna say thank you. I hope all is well, that you're staying fit, you're staying healthy, and that good things are gonna be coming your way. I can guarantee that. All right, peace. <laughs>